What can you tell me about your views of America? What, what kind of a country is America? It has a fascist government right now. You know, they don't represent the people of the United States. It represents the oligarchs and the corporations. So why not fight Nazis there instead of coming here to fight other people's Nazis? Well, Nazis are Nazis wherever they are, and I probably would have been fighting by myself, you know? They would have said, oh, some crazy guy, you know? We're out near the airport in Donetsk and we're about to meet a volunteer fighter from the Vostok Battalion, uh, which is on the separatist pro-Russia side. He's going to tell us how we ended up fighting alongside uh, the men here. So Texas, yeah. we're in the Donbass, mm -hmm. in Ukraine. How did you get here? I've always been uh, interested in politics. Uh, started reading Che Guevara, Ho Chi Minh when I was about 12 years old. Really. Uh, Communism uh, seems like a, a just way, a good way. And so, I mean, and I know from history that it takes communism to defeat fascism. So I'm a communist. I'm here to fight fascism. Did you think you'd ever end up uh, serving in somebody else's military? And when you open the American passport, mm -hmm. it says you can lose your citizenship um, for fighting for another country's army. Mm -hmm. It says right there on the second page. Yeah. I'm not fighting for another country's army. I'm fighting for freedom and justice. I'm fighting against fascism. And the United States government is a fascist government these days. It is. It truly is. And uh, so I fight fascism. And if the United States is fascism, then I fight the United States government. Tell me about how you got involved fighting for the separatists, because most people in the West actually support Ukraine, and they see this as a Russian invasion of Ukraine's sovereign territory. But it's not a Russian invasion at all. It's the people of Donbass saying, no, we're not going to have Nazis come here and tell us how to live. I'm fighting against fascism. I'm fighting against the genuine Nazis in Kiev, the, the Nazis that say Heil Hitler, that love Bandera, who is a terrible war criminal. And those are the guys in the Ukrainian government right now. And the United States government put them in power. And they're criminals. They're psychopaths. I mean, I was in Kiev just last week, and you don't see parades of people marching down the street with swastikas. Not every day, but they do. You I mean, know I, they do. I've been to a military parade as well in Kiev, and I, I didn't see any Nazi paraphernalia at all. Well, that's because the U.S. PR company that uh, Poroshenko has hired has told me, hey, keep the swastikas out. It, it looks bad on American TV. But they're there, man, and you know that they're there. Well, I've seen a couple of uh, individual soldiers from the volunteer battalions mm -hmm. uh, sporting actual, you know, Nazi sort of sim symbols. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen one guy wearing a swastika. I've seen one guy with a sort of SS on his mm -hmm. hat. Mm -hmm. But what I haven't seen is fascist or Nazi ideology as part of the official ideology of the country or the army as a whole. I think that's exaggerated. There are individual skinheads, but this uprising in the East, it's primarily a Russian nationalist uprising. So it would seem the opposite of communist ideology. The declared goals aren't leftist. They're not communist. If anything, they're more right wing. So how does that sit with your ideology? Well, I don't really, I haven't seen a lot of right wing ideology with the guys that I've been working with. Sud Bremeni is a communist organization and mm -hmm. I am in the Sioux Bremeny military unit here you know I mean and it, I don't think it's so much right wing it's uh, more just self-defense you know they this is their land their homes their families Nazis from the other part of Kiev are coming here I mean you know when the when the fucking Nazis first came here and the people stood in front of the BMPs and tried to stop them with their hands and the guys would shoot them or run over them I was there yeah. They you weren't said. Nazis. The guys who came with the BMPs were just regular Ukrainian military conscripts. Mm. Well, I've got a message for those Ukrainian military conscripts, and it's this. We're fighting brothers against brothers here. The Ukrainian military conscripts work for Peter Poroshenko. Poroshenko works for Obama. Obama works for oligarchs, American oligarchs. So you're fighting for American oligarchs. What we need to do is Ukrainian army join Donbass army, Go to Kiev, clean out the Nazis. А с чем боретесь здесь конкретно в Донбассе? С укропами. Ну а ну как бы со всеми украинцами или какими-то конкретными? Ну 
Тут нет времени разглядывать, какой он там хороший, плохой. Они в меня стреляют, я в них. Угу. Все просто. Мы вот с Техасом РПГ, первый, второй номер. Так что пока мы здесь, на передовой, ни один танк не проскочит. А как служится с американцем? Ну, это очень... Как сказать, если со стороны войны сказать, то это очень человек отважный. Так. Я вот учусь у него там ставить мины, там растяжки, он мне всему учит. Ну и я его тоже там, что знаю, ему рассказываю. Ага. Вот такая взаимопомощь. А как вы, откуда вы знаете, что он не американский шпион? Да по нему видно. Судремни навана, судремни не победа, иди на хуй Обама. Правый секрет Педра Стан, правый секрет Педра Стан, правый секрет Педра Стан, он сосуд мне отомак. К нам чаще всего приходят, у нас есть испанцы, есть итальянцы, вот Техас, Техас американец. Да. А те, которые ощущают высочайший уровень неблагополучия в собственной стране, они там себя чувствуют некомфортно, когда они видят то, что происходит, когда они видят, как там опускаются люди. Они понимают, но не всегда они это могут объяснить, что эта война, она идет и в их стране тоже. Мы считаем, что то, что сейчас происходит, это фактически... Идет какая-то перекройка мирового порядка. То есть мы считаем, что идет столкновение двух проектов. Первый проект, тот, которому мы противостоим, мы называем его черным проектом. В основе этого проекта лежит, лежит, лежат фашистские представления. Ну, известно, что в Соединенных Штатах Америки, во Франции, в Германии существует образование, доступное как бы для всех, которые, уровень которого опускается. Это превращает их в ту самую слизь, превращает их в людей, которые не в состоянии даже осознать свое положение вот, и не в состоянии оказать какое-то сопротивление того, тому, что с ней будет, будут делать. Ну и есть целый ряд людей, которые не хотят превращаться в эту слизь. Есть страна, эта страна называется Россия. Вот Россия сейчас этому сопротивлению оказывает. А наша конечная цель – воссоздать Советский Союз в исправленном, как бы, и э, в исправленном и улучшенном варианте. Мы называем это СССР 2.0. What can you tell me about your views of America? What, what kind of a country is America? It's a beautiful, beautiful place. I love it very much. Uh, it has a fascist government right now. I was born in 1960. Things were nice back then, but uh, since maybe 1980, it's been downhill, you know. The government in the United States uh, is, is a criminal government. It doesn't represent the people of the United States. It represents the oligarchs and the corporations. So why not fight Nazis there instead of coming here to fight other people's Nazis? Well, Nazis are Nazis wherever they are, and if I fought them in the United States, uh, I probably would have been fighting by myself, you know? They would have said, oh, some crazy guy, you know? You no, know, Russia's a country that's not without its problems either. I mean, I know that. many people would say that it's an uh, authoritarian dictatorship uh, as well. And the, and the movement here supports Russia and is supported by Vladimir Putin. So where do you stand on supporting a cause that could bring the kind of authoritarian system in Russia to eastern Ukraine? I don't really see Russian as being that authoritarian. Mm -hmm. um, as for Vladimir Putin supporting uh, Novo Russia, uh, to the extent that he does, I thank him seriously. If we want to talk about authoritarian dictatorships, uh, I think there's a much more authoritarian police state in the United States than what I saw in Russia. But you don't see the leader of the opposition in the United States being gunned down in front of the White House. And just a few weeks ago, the most prominent opposition figure mm -hmm. in Russia was shot in front of the Kremlin. The Russian government would not gun him down in front of the Kremlin. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, a, that's a pretty obvious false flag, if you ask me. I mean, it's, The CIA said, hey, we don't need this guy anymore. Let's kill him and blame it on Putin. What do you think about uh, liberalism? Do you think uh, Europe and the West are getting too liberal? Because some of the other members of uh, Sut Vremeni, the unit that you're from, mm -hmm. told me that they're unhappy with the way 
uh, homosexuality is being promoted as they see it in Western countries, for example? Well, you know, uh, I'm not gay, but I'm completely unprejudiced against gays. Uh, I believe that uh, people have a right to love whoever they want. Uh, they should be able to marry whoever they want. But uh, I, can, I can see the point of the guys here. Определенное количество людей, чисто генетически, тяготеет больше вот, к нетрадиционным вот, способам удовлетворения своих сексуальных инстинктов. Но их не больше 5%. А когда сейчас на Западе таковыми становится большинство населения, ну если не большинство, то значительная роль, значительная часть. Ясно, что это делается искусственным способом. И для чего вот популяризируется гомосексуальная культура? Снижение э, прироста народа населения. Нефть скоро закончится, газ скоро закончится. Об этом же крики были. А как вы считаете, Техас, который поступил в ваши ряды, он это понял? Но мне представляется, что он это понял. Well, you're not the first uh, American fighting in this conflict that mm -hmm. I've interviewed. I actually talked to a guy codenamed Franco. Uh, Mark Paslavsky, mm -hmm. uh, who was fighting on the Ukrainian side mm -hmm. in the Donbass battalion. And he said mm -hmm. a That's lot of... the guy that got killed, right? The guy got mm -hmm. killed in Ilovaisk. Fuck him. Well, he said some sim similar things to what you're saying about wanting to fight the oligarchy. He said part of the reason that he was fighting for the Ukrainians and that he participated in the Maidan himself was because uh, he wanted to see the uh, oligarchic corrupt system that has existed in Ukraine be brought down. So it's interesting to hear mm -hmm two Americans fighting on two sides of this conflict uh, talking about the same problems. Well, except for the fact that he was completely wrong. Uh, if Poroshenko is not an oligarch, then what is an oligarch? He's a fat, rich dude that uh, made his money uh, robbing public stuff from the Ukrainian people. Uh, he takes his orders from uh, the United States. He's a traitor to Ukraine. He doesn't, he doesn't even represent the Ukrainian people. He represents what Barack Obama tells him to represent, and Obama represents the oligarchs and corporations in the United States. So, you know, tough shit for Mark getting killed. Uh, he should have stayed home. You got to make sure that you're, you know, that you know who you're fighting for. You know, he was fighting on the wrong side, and he picked a fight with some badass dudes that put his ass in the ground. And that's what we'll do to all the Nazis that come to Donbass. We we'll put them in the ground. We we'll take their guns and bury their bones. Do you ever see yourself going back to the United States? No, uh, I can't go back to the United States uh, because uh, I would probably land and U.S. Marshals put the chains on me and take me straight to prison. You know, they'd say I was a terrorist. You know, I'm not a terrorist. I'm just defending good people here. I'm defending myself. I only shoot guys that are trying to shoot me. After we liberate Ukraine, maybe we'll liberate Europe and then we'll head west from there. So you want to come to the U.S. on the back of an armored vehicle? Yeah. They got some problems there and need straightening out. 